when skinny people go fat, right? Th which I think is a BBC Three show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it will be within three weeks if it isn't. Right? When skinny people go fat, it's, it's not good because we we go we stay skinny mostly, except we go skinny, 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 boo, skinny, skinny, skinny. skinny. <laughs> we look like we've had a, a shelf put in. <laughs> to get the dips nearer our face, right? <laughs> it looks ridiculous, and I don't, I don't want that. I don't. I don't want it. So I've done a thing, Bloomsbury. I've done a thing, which is it's like a personal defeat. This, really. I joined a gym. Yes, right. <laughs> Some of you are probably very good at the gym and like it, and that's fine. And I'm actually slightly jealous. You're probably very physically confident people. Well done. Right? <laughs> probably very sexually confident. Bravo. <laughs> probably like sex. <laughs> or as I have come to know it, the Saturday night must we. <laughs> <laughs> Gyms are not my place. They're full of the other the team. They're full of alpha males, right? I am not, I'm not alpha. They're, I'm only borderline male, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I, do, I expect humiliation at every turn in the gym. When I went and signed in, when I had to fill in all the forms and stuff, the woman said, you're going to need an induction. And I went, oh, God. I didn't know what she meant. I've no, I don't know the word induction particularly. I've never had a proper job. I've never had an induction day. There's no induction day in stand-up. <laughs> Nobody goes, stage, mic. The rest of the day's your own. <laughs> I thought it was something medical. I thought probably she could... You know how some people in certain jobs, they've been doing it long enough that they just have to look at you and they know what it is that you need. Like if you go into a clothes shop and you say, I'd like to buy some trousers. And they go, certainly, sir. Third to too long. You go, yes. <laughs> yes. Dressed to the left. Yes. <laughs> Flattered that you know. Just don't wait train to see the town. You say, just get the trousers. <laughs> just get the trousers. I, I, I thought it was like that. I thought she was looking at me going, you need an induction. But she, she was saying, no, no, no. No, she said, no, we, we have to teach you how to use the machines. Derek will show you. And there's Derek, and he is a bloke. Hello, right? He's a bloke. I can tell Derek's a bloke because his arms don't go all the way down. <laughs> you know those men? Mother was a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> you see them in London, everywhere, any town in the country, on a high street, Saturday night, five or six of them in a pack, like that, wandering around looking like they're searching for the bloke who's nicked the carpets they were carrying. <laughs> Right, that's Derek, and he is an alpha male, and I'm immediately on humiliation watch. Because I, he goes, go get changed. Oh, I don't, see, I cover up, I wear long the whole time, I never wear t-shirts and shorts. In my, in my uncovered state, I look like a child has done a collage with some twiglets. That's essentially, <laughs> I, I don't want to, the world to see this. So, uh, having got changed, I, I, I walk around the corner, you know, feeling humiliated already. And no word of a lie, I'm not, I'm not making this up, the fucker, laughed in my face. <laughs> Which I, yes, I think that's a sacking offence. I came round the corner and he went, ha, 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 eat something. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, fuck you, read something. <laughs> Didn't say it, nice person, don't want to punch in the face, right? So, but I was cross, you know when you're cross with somebody and they're telling you perfectly reasonable things, but you're cross. So you're not going to listen to anything that they're telling you, even though it's perfectly sensible. Yes, fine, Derek. No, that's fine. He's going, let me show you how a uh, running machine works. No, that's fine, a running machine. I'm sure I can do a running machine, Derek, on, off, more fast, slow. I'll be fine, right? All of that. So after he's pressed emergency stop and picked me off the floor, uh, <laughs> he shows me the single worst piece of modern torture in, in general human life, which is the mirrored wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, have any of you never been to the gym? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you've chosen to say yes rather than raise your hands because of your inherent weakness. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, in a gym, one whole wall is a mirror, and all the exercise machines are pointing at it. And he was explaining it to me, going, "Yeah, the idea, Chris. Yeah, you keep watching yourself whilst you exercise. Yeah, and inspire you to push on through. Yeah, bigger, better things. Keep push, keep looking at yourself. Push on through. Bigger, better. It's inspiring, Chris. It's not inspiring. I don't want to see myself running. That is not inspiring. I look like four gay windmills when I <laughs> come on, Chris. You can do this." Plus, if I can see myself in the mirror, I can no longer pretend that I'm not weeping. I don't... <laughs> don't see it! 
I got one over on him. I finally got one over on him when we went over to the rowing machine. He was going, yeah, right, Chris, you're uh, two main dangers here, yeah? Or you uh, let your foot slip off, <laughs> slice up the back of your leg like that. Or you let go, twang, do the back of your neck, whiplash, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, Derek? Those are the two main dangers, are they? Derek, no, they're not. Derek, the main danger, Derek, is getting your iPod headphones tangled up in the flywheel. That's the main danger. <laughs> Three times I've had to be cut out of that machine now. <laughs> it takes ages, they're not allowed sharp objects. People who work in gyms, they have to chew you out. <laughs> and then they get confused. Is this carbs? <laughs> just chew me out of the machine. If you're ever having a day when you have to say to somebody, just chew me out of the machine, <laughs> it's definitely a bad day. <laughs> he took me to see the weights. <laughs> he insisted I see the weights. I've no interest, but health and safety, I've got to see these weights. He put me on one of those leggy machines. I've got all the technical terms, me. He put me on one of, you know, with a pile of weights, you know the piles of weights type machines with a pin in? Right. <laughs> he said to me, right, and the more, the more weights, yeah, the heavier it is, really. <laughs> you should do physics. <laughs> Looking for people at the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> you can lift it up when it breaks, they can look underneath. He <laughs> took the pin out and went, let's see what you can do. And I was thinking, please don't put that in. Don't put that pin back in. It doesn't matter where you put that pin in, I will physically soil myself <laughs> with the effort. I've seen YouTube, you type weightlifter into that search box, the drop down menu of suggestions says weightlifter shitting, weightlifter <laughs> pissing. Because it's all here, it's all from here. Weightlifting, this is where the effort is. They just lose it <laughs> the whole time and they expect it. Some of the pros bring three or four leotards. <laughs> Way oh, sorry, Dave, I'll be with you in five. Bear with me. Bear with me. I hope this isn't the last one. Right? Because there's, on YouTube, there's footage of a weightlifter having a prolapse. Uh, yeah, the red is going, Ooh, and then bam, his arse shoots out the back of his leotard. But they train for that, they train their diaphragm so they can just Ooh, suck it back up and on they go. Some of them can do it at will, boom, da, like that. Like an arse alien. They can, they can pick things up, ding, day. There's that watch. You dropped, you're fine. You're fine. I was after a new one, as it goes. 